What's up guys? Welcome to another Test Drive Thursday. In today's video, we review the BMW 330i individual. Let's get to it. Alright guys, in today's video, we have the 2004 BMW 330i individual. Now, to start off, I think the first thing to mention about this car is the wonderful color. This is known as Estral Blue and yeah, they're actually quite scarce in the 330i models. Now this car is, like I mentioned, the 2004. I think everyone in South Africa specifically knows the 330i's because they were such a hit back then and they are still very well known, especially in individual guys. So yeah guys, this is an M54 motor as well, same as the 325Ti, but this is in B30 format, which is a 3 liter instead of the 2.5 from factory it made 170 kilowatts and 300 newton meters of torque my friend has been the owner of this car for close to two years now and yes like any other bmw a lot of maintenance has gone in a lot of effort has gone in to get it to where it's at when he was looking for a bmw he specifically was looking for a individual and yeah, we'll get to the party piece inside, but he was looking for a 330i as well. So let's get to the individual part. So BMW decided to make their 330i's a bit more special. We did not get the ZHP package in South Africa, so they decided to, to give us the individual options. Now this car has the, you guys will see the wheels, You'll see the MTEC 2 body kit, you'll see the small wing at the back, you'll see the rear lights and yeah the individuals all have a lot of interior tricks and bits as well. This car also has a sunroof option and yeah you can see the clear indicator lenses and once again MTEC 2 the bumper at the front. Exterior wise, there's not much modifications on this car. It is the, has the black kidney grills. Uh, it has the black inserts or the badge in the wheels. And yes, furthermore, it's basically stock standard in the looks department. I don't think these cars need anything or any modifications in the looks department. I think they are simply beautiful from the factory. Now on to modifications performance wise. So this car has about the same exhaust modifications as mine has. It's got stock it is stock exhaust, but it has a DCAT and basically the rear silencer box delete. It's got a slight map on it as well. It's just basic basic things that we change on the map and then yeah, it's got a performance air filter, if I can put it that way, just a flat panel filter, but furthermore, it's stock standard. And it's, it's also got the, the polyutherine RTAB mountings for rear trailing arm bushes, and the owner of this vehicle actually decided to do the reinforcement plates in the shock towers. So this car's got the reinforcement plates in the shock towers. So that's about for the exterior guys, let's get to the interior. guys to get to the interior as I mentioned BMW individual so that's one of the ways to identify them and this car has got the black interior option and the M Sport seats as well or the sport seats that were option on these vehicles back then this is one feature that I really like is the M Sport steering wheel it's got this carbon style trim as well but yes so once again 330i's got these 
rings around the gauges as i reiterated it in the ti's video manual six speed boys yeah this is this is literally the best thing to have in your six cylinder bmw is a manual six speed it's got still got the stock radio you did the same modification with the auxiliary cable as i did i think overall this car's interior it is still mint you guys can see if we switch on the gauges let the oil service just pass 265,000 kilometers guys yes looking at this car you wouldn't say it's got 264,000 kilometers i think it's amazing how durable these cars are and how reliable they are i think it's basically a testimony of how good bmw built these cars back then this car's also actually got like a harman kardon option you can see the extra speaker in there and yes i love the black interior I, I wish my ti had a black interior it's just simply great on these cars it's also got the sunroof which is quite nice that's about it for the interior so like i mentioned this car's also got m54 so i think let me show you guys the party piece on this 330i And there it is, boys and girls. This was one marvelous engine BMW built back back then. It's a M54 B30, 170 kilowatts and 300 newton meters. BMW actually uh, had a lot of E36 M3 parts in here. These engines were built super well and once again very reliable, very very good overall driver. And then to get to the fuel consumption part again, the fuel consumption on these B30 motors are basically the same as the B25. On the open road, it's pretty good. In town, yeah, you kind of wish you could get more liters per hundred, but the, the actual joy that you get from these engines compared to the fuel consumption, you get a lot of joy out of these engines. So you basically just don't care about fuel, press that pedal flat and you just enjoy the ride. Welcome to the BMW E46 330i individual and yeah the first thing I can tell you guys that I immediately notice is the steering wheel the thicker M Sport steering wheel it really does uh, sit quite well in your hand and uh, it gives the car a different feeling um, the, especially the, the seating position in the sedan as well um, this one sits quite a bit different compared to the 320 diesel i think it's mostly because of the the sport seats and uh, yeah so i'm still getting the car to to build a bit of temperature and so forth but it's uh once again very much more comfortable compared to my 325 ti um i think the 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 interior build quality on the 325 ti is a bit lower grade maybe because uh, the sedans especially um they don't have much rattles and squeaks and stuff like that so um, that is one thing I can mention another thing as well this is M54 motor but it is B30 format not B25 I can definitely feel a little bit of more torque down low um, not much more but you can definitely feel that the motor is a bit more punchier down low these uh, B30 models has a 2.93 final drive so they have incredibly long gear ratios but i think you've got a powerful high ribbing well not that high ribbing but naturally a spirit motor so that it does compensate for for that long gear and uh yeah sorry guys a little bit of traffic but i can i can feel the clutch is a bit more stiffer as well compared to my car um i don't think it's necessarily a bigger clutch but i think mine is maybe a little bit worn as well i wouldn't know but yeah um the the gear lever it's got this m sport uh, stubby gear gear knob it does make 
the, the shifts feel a bit shorter and uh, this gearbox is still silky smooth compared to mine I can feel that shifts a much better and it's a bit more of a smoother shift if I can put it that way now uh, especially with the 330i's um, these these cars also have or this specific car also have as the the M Sport suspension and in individual guys they they have a bit of upgrades with the suspension but you can still feel the the steering rack I think is a tiny tiny bit um, longer compared to the TI because I can feel there's a bit more travel in the steering it's not as immediate in the response department but uh, yeah the car still feels very great I can also notice that the 3 liter has a bit of a deeper deeper sound to it it's a it's got a bit more of a, a drone to it and yeah that's that's one of the favorites for South Africans is the is the sound of the the three liter so um, yeah some people even say that it sounds better than the e46 m3 I've seen a lot of people say that the, the m54 b30 sounds better than the 54 but I think um, it's up to you these these b30s do sound really good but yeah guys I'm gonna get you over to a point of view drive so you guys can see what it, what it is like to to be driving the B or the 330i or formerly known as the the half past three and let's see I think it's gonna be a very very enjoy joyful drive and a very um, entertaining car to to be driving so let me guys get you to the point of view and you can see for yourself welcome guys to a point of view drive and Yes, I'm just gonna let you guys experience the car for what it is and I'm really enjoying the drive at the moment. I do hope you guys can hear the engine and yes, let's enjoy the drive. That low down torque of the of the six cylinder. Hey, hey, you can go, you can go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see the ladies, but yeah, I'd rather give them a, a chance. But yeah, guys, I can tell you, this car is driving freaking awesome at this moment in time. I'm enjoying it so much. I actually had a pretty long day today, and yeah, getting into this car, it's very exciting at this moment in time we've got the temperature on par now and uh, I'm gonna enjoy the drive a bit I hope you guys enjoy it with me Woo! listen to that six cylinder just listen Jeez, guys the acceleration is phenomenal like it feels awesome I can definitely definitely feel a difference between this and my uh, B25 there's an instant response down low and there's the instant power I'm gonna give it a bit now I hope you guys can hear Great. 
I hope you guys can't see the speed I'm doing. I was doing 80 kilometers an hour. But yes. No. The, the 330i definitely has that something special to it. I'm not going to deny. And I can tell you guys, when, you, when you're driving on the open road as well, you can feel the, the sedan is a bit more planted. It feels hooked to the road. And I freaking love this thicker steering wheel. I'm, I'm definitely going to make a plan to get one of these in, in my TI one day. It is a future upgrade that I want to do. Yeah, the, ride, the roads are quite busy at this moment in time. Woo! No, I can feel a bit of adrenaline going. It's, it's pretty much a lot of fun to be had. Woo! It sounds great. And it's so responsive, like... And I need to, to mention as well that this is... I'm inland, guys. I'm in, I'm in Pretoria. So, yeah, this is inland. This is not at the coast. I can imagine this naturally aspirated motor at the coast. It's freaking amazing. I can't believe that engine from freaking that these engines were designed in uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, and they drive super great. That instant torque down low. Quickly made a trip to Mexico. Let's see what the 3 3 i can do. Pretty freaking impressive if you ask me. That's it, boys and girls. The BMW 330i individual. Another thing I forgot to mention, this car's got one more modification which is pretty cool. It's got a race diffs uh, semi-locking differential mod at the back. It basically just helps to, to get the diff to lock a bit and it just makes that drive much more intuitive and enjoyable. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the test drive Thursday and yes, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.